the spray booth. Um, Debbie wants me to attempt to paint um, an ombre style using the spray gun. And we're gonna start with the military brass. At the bronze. Bottom. Military bronze at the bottom. Always wear your mask. Turn the fan on. Turn the sprayer on. Check your, your pattern. So we're going to mix a little bit of Wise Owl Bone in with the military green. Bronze. Military bronze. <laughs> <laughs> and get a lighter color for the next level on our... Uh, you call it? Ombre. Ombre. I, I want to say Bohemian, but I knew that wasn't right. So I always like to give it a little stir before I important to my container because this is pretty thick. Oh boy. As you can see. All right, so we're going to pour this into our sprayer. Whoop, mix it with uh, the military bronze. I think Debbie wants me to use about a third of this. Yeah. And I always use um, That's probably good. a filter to make sure there's no impurities or globs going into the sprayer. It'll plug it up. So we're just going to let this filter on down. <laughs> I'm going to roll this guy up a little bit to squeeze the stuff through the filter. in the process a little bit. Okay, that's probably good. Can you stir it up? Yeah. Let's see what color we have. It's 
pretty good. It's lighter. Lift it up so we can see it. Yeah, I think I want a little lighter. Really? I think. Let's test it out. So, this is where we left off at. We're going to go up to about here with uh, this other color. Okay, so we added the rest of that, uh, is that a cord? Bone, yeah, pint. A pint of the bone into the spray gun. With what, what color? Uh, Wise Old Owl's bone. <laughs> What's the other one? Wise Old Owl military bronze. You said it right. Yeah, I got hollered at last time. <laughs> So, oh. please don't look at the mess. Please don't look at the mess. <laughs> it's pretty messy. Debbie's been in here working. It's pretty messy. So this has just been kind of an all around Wise Owl project because I did use the Wise Owl primer, the clear primer on that project there. And what kind of sprayer are you using? It is. Stingray. Pretty do fancy. You, do you like it? I love it. We've had other uh, sprayers and you might get one or two good uses out of them and then they all clog up. But this guy seems to do pretty good. You can even let it sit in the, you know, it's all sealed up. You can let it sit for overnight, no problem. And actually they have another product that comes with this that uh, the reservoir is like a plastic baggy so you can store it you can actually invert the handle when you're spraying so you can get up underneath the stuff with it debbie won't buy it for me though <laughs> i don't know what her problem is <laughs> buy it yourself hey debbie's got all the money i have no money <laughs> they're expensive but they're nice they're really nice it's like an investment so we're going to take our concoction of more bone and military bronze. I'm just going to go right along from here down to here, just this area in here. Lighten it up some. Yeah, because I want the top to be almost white. One paint that we really like putting on tops, well actually painting the whole thing, is, is the, you know, the one hour enamel. And we're gonna finish this project up with the one hour enamel antique villa. So it should go on pretty good. And uh, I, it, it works really well with the sprayer, I love it. I can't say it enough. I think I love it more than Debbie, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Not really, I love Debbie a lot. She's pretty cute. <laughs> kind of iffy. I wonder how that's going to ombre. Do you think it'll work? 
I think so. I mean, you're, you're pretty dark on the bottom. That's going to be you, antique villa is, you know, not a bright white. It's it's kind of a cream. You know, I think it's going to look good. I think so too. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you embarrassed that people will see the, the back room right now? Nah, they can come in. I'll give them a tour. I'll just say, look at all this mess that Debbie makes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never take credit for that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right. We decided to speed this up a little bit just because... You've already seen us uh, spray the paint before, but to let you know, the Antique Villa One Hour Enamel sprayed gorgeous, and the ombre looked really, really good. If I were to do anything differently next time, I think probably what I would do is start at the top with the lighter color and go down to the darker color instead, just because I think um, it might have just looked a little bit better but it was really pretty and this piece sold super fast and I just loved it I would have kept it if we would have had some place in the house to put it it's just so pretty then I decided to just seal the entire thing with wise owls furniture salve um, this salve is so amazing it's just a beautifully hard finish it's made with hemp oil, so it just gives it a really good hard finish. Plus, it smells really pretty, and it kind of just deepens the colors on the finish a little bit and gives it a really beautiful satin sheen. And then you just put it on with a brush, and then you wait a little while and then um, buff it out with a soft cloth. And then I decided to put some gold wax over the little embellishments that are all over this piece. I used Debbie's Design Diary DIY Golden Rule um, Gold Wax. And I'll put the description, I'll put everything down in my description box so that if you want to purchase any of these products, you can just get them right off of our website. But isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this piece. I just think Rob did an amazing job and I definitely think he has a future in furniture artistry. So if you want to see him in more of my videos, give us a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. See you next time.